Today we'll be discussing modes of heat transfer. It could be transferred through different methods and it could also be transferred through different substances like liquids, like gases, like solids. And the method by which heat is transferred through these different substances are different and that's what we're discussing today. Heat energy is also known as thermal energy. Modes of heat transfer. There are three ways by which heat is transferred. One, conduction. Two, convection. Three, radiation. Now we'll look at the meaning of heat transfer by conduction. Conduction is the process by which heat is transferred through solids. Solids like iron, solids like aluminium, solids like wood. By the time it is able to pass through such materials, that is what we call conduction. Two, convection. Convection is the process by which heat is transferred through liquids. When you have to boil water and you put it on a stove, the water can't boil on its own, so it has to be put inside a kettle or into a pot. And the effect of the heat through that liquid is what we now call convection. Three, radiation. Radiation is the process by which heat is transferred from one place to another without eating the intervening medium. A good example of radiation is the heat coming from the sun and reaching the earth. That's a good example of radiation from one place to another without eating the intervening medium. Comparison of thermal conductivity. As we said earlier, the effect of heat on materials differ one from another. An example to verify this is this experiment with a diagram on the board. Equal length of rods made of copper, aluminium, iron, lead, and wood are coated with molten paraffin wax, as seen on the diagram. Boiling water is now poured into the metal container. This is a metal container in which the rods are fixed as shown in this diagram so that the ends of the rod are heated to the same temperature. The wax on the rod are observed to start melting from the end and after some time the copper rod has the longest length while the wooden rod hardly melts at all. The copper rod, the whole wax on the copper rod will be melted. This to verify that copper is a better conductor of heat, then followed by aluminium, as you see the effect on it, followed by iron, followed by lead, and wood is a very poor conductor of it. Application of radiation. One, dark colored clothes are good absorbers of it, therefore should not be worn in the tropical sun. That's why if somebody is putting on a black cloth, another man is putting on a white shirt, you discover that the man that puts on a black cloth will experience more heat because of the radiation from the sun. Two, the electric ion has a silvered surface at the base and this reduces the heat lost from the ion by radiation. Three, roofs of factories are coated with shining materials like aluminium to reflect heat during the day 
and keep the room cool inside. Four, the thermos flask is a vacuum flask used to keep the temperature of its contents either constantly hot or cold. Some features of the thermos flask are the double cold glass, the vacuum, the silver walls, and the insulating cork. The diagram above here, the diagram of a thermos flask. The different parts of this thermos flask. And right here we have the metal casing. We have right here the silver surface. We have the cork. And we have right here the vacuum steel. We we'll now look at the functions of these parts of a thermos flask. The diagram of a thermos flask. This is the diagram of a thermos flask. And there are different parts of this thermos flask. You have the metal casing, you have the silver surface, you have the cork, we also have the vacuum steel. These parts have different functions. They are not just placed there. The functions of the parts of this thermos flask are one, the vacuum. The vacuum prevents heat loss by conduction and convection. The seaboard wall prevents heat loss by radiation. The insulating cork, the stopper, which is the insulating cork, reduces heat loss by convection. Example. Aban wore a black shirt and James wore a white shirt. Which of them will experience more heat after four hours of standing in the sun? The answer to this question is Aban. The reason is Aban will experience more heat because dark surfaces are good absorbers of heat.